All right, hey guys, it's time to talk about screen addiction again. And um, this is actually the perfect time to talk about this topic because I've been feeling some pressure today uh, to use the screen more. So let's get into it. The thing is that screen addiction, if, if, uh, if you think you watch too much uh, TV or you scroll too much on your phone or you watch too much Netflix or HBO or Disney or whatever, or too much TikTok, too much YouTube, you can, you can categorize all those into the, you can put all those into the category of screen addiction. But it's actually not your problem. Screen addiction is not actually your problem. So what is it? Um, and what is it that made my screen addiction uh, flare up, I guess you can say? There was this one study done that um, I don't know how, I guess they just asked a bunch of soldiers um, but um, the soldiers that was sent to the uh, Vietnam War they took a lot of heroin 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 um, apparently to like dull the pain uh, of being in war and shooting other human beings and uh, witnessing terrible things and somehow they had access to heroin or like, yeah, just heroin. And so a lot of soldiers apparently took, used heroin to dull the pain. But what they found is that when they returned home from the war and it was peacetime again, they all, like most of them, did not have, a, have an addiction for heroin. They did not... Uh, keep using they just went back to their families and that was that like of course some of the soldiers kept using but most didn't and what that shows is that your environment uh, makes you prone to using the screen too much so what that means is that you are trying to cope with your life by using the screen too much. And that's what happened to me today, because I just uploaded that 60-day um, no-porn update, and it got way more views, views than I'm used to. It got like an almost 500 views. And I've just gotten used to getting around like a hundred views, fifty views, and I'm still getting used to the idea to the idea. And to me, it's a lot because yeah, I I I I actually try to build a real connection with my viewers. I, I, I want to I don't just want to chase stupid numbers. So I try to think about it like actual people in a room so it puts added pressure on me when i achieve more views because i now know that more people are going to watch and i i love i love that you're watching i love that you're subscribing and liking it it, it means the world to me i love reading the comments and there were so many comments on the latest video so all that awesomeness now has uh, like gone down. The hype is like, all right, back to reality. And now I have to make a new video. And I am um, oh, sorry. And now I have to make a new video and I still want to be authentic. I still want to entertain and I still want to give you some valuable insights. But there's like 
I'm still getting used to actually getting views. Um, when I just started, I, I knew that like no one, like almost no one is going to watch. So there was no pressure. All right. So what am I trying to say? I felt like just watching more screen, watching YouTube, watching movies, not making this video here tonight. Because it felt uncomfortable. And uh, so do you see, the problem was not the screen addiction. It was the fact that I needed to face something. I needed to get out of my comfort zone, even though I've gotten used to making videos. So that's what happens, uh, not just, like this is just one example, but you can put it into your, uh, into your own life. Uh, and I've written a few notes, and I usually don't write these notes because it can like, take me out of the flow, but when I watch my videos back, I always forget something. So now I'm, al I'm also like adding to the pressure of trying to learn to like follow at just a few notes so I don't like go all kinds of ways. Um, and also it was already difficult making a video today. All right. I had to make, make a video. I wanted to watch the screen because I didn't want to face the discomfort. And so I wanted to cope. So it doesn't have to be screen addiction. It can be alcohol addiction or porn addiction or sugar addiction or food addiction. It's just a way of coping with the things that you don't want to face. And like for many people, it gets so bad that they even forget that there is something maybe they should be facing. And that's where it becomes this addiction where you think it's about a certain thing that you are trying to battle. Like you're battling the screen addiction. I'm going to win against you. And you make this sort of, it's your brain just making keeping you behind the curtain like don't face this <laughs> just make him or her focus on this weird battle but in reality i just needed to make this video and i'm happy i'm here right now i'm not thinking about watching the screen right now i'm doing the thing that i'm supposed to do that i want to do even though it's difficult sometimes and especially today and I feel the pressure, but that's okay. I'll get used to it. Um, so I guess you can ask yourself, what is your thing that you need to maybe face? What is it that you, after this video, you need to shut down the computer or shut, shut off your phone and just maybe face something? And if you don't know what it is, but you feel like a sort of doom inside and you need to stop watching videos or scrolling then uh, you just need to to stop doing the addiction thing and just give it a few minutes doing nothing and it will it will come up i promise you like just let it all something will will fill uh, fill your mind and um, the more you get better at observing what pops up uh, the deeper you can go into the layer, layers, and that's why meditation is important. But we don't talk about meditation today. Um, but yeah, how is my screen addiction thing going? Um, there was a comment, uh, I can't remember who commented, but he asked me how, how my screen addiction was doing. Because one of my first videos, I talked about uh, that. You know, that title video is called YouTube Addiction is Sneaky Sneaky. Ex uh, exactly why I talk about this now, right? Because it just sneaks up on you and all of a sudden you have way too much watch time. Um, I'm doing okay. I said in that video that I wanted to not watch in the morning. Uh, but I have been watching a little. YouTube in the morning, but I usually couple it with um, like doing something, making breakfast or 
Yeah. Yeah, but I've all I've also been hyper focused on making these videos and so so it doesn't feel like it's got a hold of me. It doesn't feel like I need to do something else. So if you think you have a problem, then you are most likely uh, like right about it. But the, but the way to fix it is not by battling the addiction. It's about finding out what you can do to make your life that much greater that the addiction is um, less prioritized. I hope that makes sense. So if you're stuck in life and you don't know what to do, that will um, propel the addiction. Like it will make it way stronger because you feel stuck in life. So if you want everlasting cures for these addictions, of course you have to try to give, it, give them a rest, but more importantly, you have to find out what, what you want to do with your time, what you want to do with your life. It's never about these small things, these like screen addiction and it's like the mind making up a battle so you don't have to face real discomfort it's funny how it's not funny but it's funny how your mind and your brain can uh, create so much pain for you internally just so that it doesn't have to face the unknown uh, and that's, and that's basically where it lies. Like you can create an entire universe of pain and excuses just so that you don't have to sit in stillness and ask that, what am I doing with my life? What is it actually that I want to achieve? What is it that's holding me back? Who is holding me back? And then we get stuck in these positions. And I was there too. And sometimes I get stuck. Like today could have been one of those days where I did not make the YouTube video because there was added pressure. Like I know more people is going to watch. Because the last video gained 15 subscribers. That's 15 people sitting in my room right now watching me and i'm very happy you're here it, it, it's all i want i'm just trying to make make my case that you see the end product of this video but imagine like right now i'm sitting here and i have to make it flow and interesting and m keep it authentic that's why i made this channel um, especially, so every time I face these challenges, I want to share them. And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, we are all on different levels of the staircase. So, Someone who, let's say they have it easy, right? An easy life. Yeah, sure. Um, they, might, they might watch one hour too much of a show or like, like not, not objectively, but they feel like I shouldn't have, like I was supposed to do something. I was, why am I doing this? If you feel like that, then you need to make a change. Uh, but these people on the top of the staircase of how bad they feel and how stuck they are, like being on top of the staircase is, then it's quite easy to turn around and correct 
the mistake or, or the thing you want to correct. Those people, whether it's you or someone else, they know what to do. Now, I acknowledge that some people feel very stuck and they can't cope with life and maybe they had some trauma, something very bad happened to them or the parents have shown them how to, like basically not, how you should not lead your life, how you should not live your life. That's not for me to say. Um, but if you are one of those people, just know that like you can get better. It's very possible. Like I, I've, if you saw me two years ago, you would not recognize me today. Maybe physically, but not energetically. Uh, or like spiritually, or like, I was very dead inside. So I had to find my way back. And I realized that someone are like even worse, maybe suicidal, and they sit 12 to 14 hours a day inside their room and just watching the screen. Um, what you can do is take the first step. So usually what happens when we try to improve our, our, our lives and we want to do something, we, we make the task too big and we make it so big that we just, we can't deal with it. And we just return to the addiction of our choice. So you have to start very, very small, extremely small. Um, it could be just getting out of bed. Like if you can get out of bed for five minutes, if you're at that point, and that's a win, then don't do anything else. Just get out of bed for five minutes and then get back, back into bed. Because then you register a win in your brain. You did something uncomfortable and your brain recognized that you went into the unknown of getting out of bed for five minutes and then you uh, succeeded and then that was it. That will start to make some of those connections. I know that sounds extreme, but it's just to make a point, prove a point, right? Your brain will be more suscept susceptible the next day to do something even harder. So you get out of bed for 10 minutes and then 20 minutes. And then while you're out of bed, your brain is like, maybe we can do something, even though it's unknown. Maybe, maybe we can do five sit-ups or maybe we can walk for like 10 minutes out of the 20 minutes that we are out of bed. And that way you build, 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 and you start to do things that seemed impossible to you in the past. That's what's happening to me right now. Uh, like, like, it's hard for me to believe that I'm even sitting here making these videos. But it just took a few years of like building, building, building. Also building knowledge, of course. I don't, I don't just want to sit here and say things that I, that I don't even believe or like know anything about. All, all, all the things I talk about are built on like experience and reading and intuition and yeah, a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, and yeah, happy new years. Um, very happy to have all you guys here. Uh, it's a pleasure. I truly love it. I am a bit tired today. You can probably tell, but that's okay. We all have bad days. And I think it's very important to also just do some of the work that feels difficult. Um, especially when you're having a, a hard day or you don't have as much um, energy. Because it will still help to, to like be a stepping stone to the life that you ultimately want to live. 
truly believe that and that's what I have experienced. So that's why I'm making the video today and I'll see you in the next one. Happy to have you here. Love you all you guys. So um, bye.